Hey everyone, Corey here, and I'm going to be showing you how I did my overlay for my videos. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Uh, it has like a black kind of gray texture, and it has these cut out. So I'm going to show you kind of how I did it. It's not going to be the exact same way I did this, but I'm going to show you so you can make your own. Uh, in Photoshop, you want to go to File, New. I did do this in Photoshop, so do it in Photoshop. Um, file New, make your width 1280 pixels by height 720 pixels. Then hit OK. Then what you want to do is fill it in with white if it's not already white. It'll probably be already white for yours. And then what I did was I actually filled it in with black. Black. And then I went up to Filter, Noise. Now you can do this differently. And I added some noise. I made sure it was uh, monochromatic so it was only black and white, not colored. Then I went up to Blur and then I put on a Motion Blur. Just so it got like that texture right there, and then I moved on with that. Next, I made a new layer. Come down here to new layer, and then I actually made this white. Okay. Now what I then did is I clicked the arrow and I hit Control T. Now as you can see, you have like this thing where you can change it. Make sure you hold down Shift, and then you can drag this to however big or small you want it. Um, I'm just gonna go like that. It's kind of like how I had mine. And then hit Apply. Now then what I did was I uh, I went to this website right here, uh, callofduty.wikia.com and then uh, you can go to guns, it has all the guns here and all that stuff so I'm just going to go to uh, ACR, let's just go with that and then you want to click the picture, you don't want to drag it in, you want to click the picture then it will go here then you want to right click and then save the image as and then I actually made a folder with all my pictures that I've downloaded so far and then go to ACR and there we go and then so find what you want then uh, go to file place and make sure you saved it don't drag it in or it won't have like because these are PNGs if uh, it has no background so it's actually just a uh, blank so what I did is we'll just say I had ninja pro I uh, drag that in over here and I put it however I want it um, I wanted it kind of up to the top it's kind of good how I have it and uh, and then I placed it in place and there we go now I actually added a box around it so I went to the box and now I didn't do it this close I actually measured it but just for the video I'm gonna do it like this hold down shift make it a square box there we go and then I actually filled it in with a uh, black first so control Z uh, you can't really change the colors after you make the box so uh, make the box the color you want We'll just do it something like that. It's not a big deal right now. There we go. And then drag Ninja Pro above it. Now, what I also did to make it have like a cool uh, thing, I double clicked my uh, background and I made it bevel and emboss. Uh, click that. And then I made it chisel hard. I didn't change anything else. I just put it on chisel hard. Now, as you can see, it gave it like a little side thing on the side. Made it look kind of um, kind of like 3 D, I guess. Uh, we're actually going to control T, make this a little smaller, and then make sure you drag it away from the outside. So if you do the bevel emboss, drag it to the edge of the bevel and emboss, and it'll look a lot better. As you can see, then it has like the little, like, it looks like it's being raised a little bit and all that stuff. Not a big deal, but that's just what I did. Then I want to, you want to hit control T when you get the video in the right spot. Uh, not control T, control click right here and then click on your your background right here and then hit delete. Now as you can see it cut it, it I tried to show you with my finger, I'm sorry, but it cut it out uh, so if I go away and even if I just hide this picture as you can see it's like cut out kind of like a picture frame now and that looks amazing or at least I think it looks awesome. So uh, then we're going to do the same thing after you get all your uh, boxes um, for your thing, try to duplicate the same box, keep them the same size, um, and then just hit control, oops, control, click here on the shape thing, and then I go back to the background, hit delete, and now as you can see, now I'm only going to show you one, but as you can see right here, it's like cut out. Now make sure you get it away from the edges, that way it goes whole way around. But like I said, it was just a, I would have take, taken more time to show you this if, uh, well, I took more time on mine, but I'm just showing you real quick how to do this. And then, as you can see, it's like that. Now we'll just throw a gun in, file, place. 
we'll uh, place in the ACR. Now I made a box. Uh, if you don't want to make a box, that's cool. Um, I dragged it down here. And then always make sure you keep the aspect. So make sure you're always holding down shift when you make stuff smaller or else just stretch it out. It'll look like crap. Uh, we're going to get that out the magnifying glass. Right click and make it actual pixel so you can see this is what it would look like. And I have a little ACR down here, which is kind of cool. Uh, but again, you might want to put a box around it. But if you don't, you could control click and then go back to the layer and then cut it out and it looks really bad but that's what you could do and we're actually uh, not gonna do that because that does look really bad as you can see but so control Z control all control Z whatever and then you could just make a box around it again box whatever color um, right here drag it and all that and then drag the ACR above it. Now I know you're all going to ask, how does, how do I put on my camo? Uh, move the ACR over a little bit. You could also put in the attachments and all that. Again, if you're having a problem where there's a background or whatever, it's because it's not PNG. If it's uh, not PNG, it'll look bad because the PNG is actually cut out all around the gun. Uh, that would be also a really good website if you wanted to put a gun on your uh, YouTube background, which I just got that idea and I might do that. But anyhow, so uh, let's show you real quick. Again, I went to uh, this website. Cancel. I went to this website. Go to weapons. Uh, the kill streaks are on here. Everything in the gun is actually on here. And then we'll just go to uh, fall camouflage just because I don't have it saved yet. We're going to click it. Now this you can save, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to drag it right in. Drag it right over the picture. Control T. Make it a little smaller. That way it's an actual uh, actual camo again hold sh down shift when you do it uh, that looks good we're just gonna apply now what you want to do is drag it right over the shape okay as you can see the shape and it's like that and then right click create clipping mask and that will go inside the box again the box doesn't look that good but it is the box as you can see uh, I'll turn it on and off box box with camo and that's how you do it and it looks really good like that now uh, for the video purpose we're gonna show you real quick just how I did it for um, my uh, thing I'm gonna open up my Vegas Pro 8 uh, you can use 9 whatever it's not a big deal I use 8 because 8 is better than 9 probably should have had this open before but it's whatever wait for it to load alright now what you wanna do is Ooh, Kyle sent me a thing. Cool Kyle. Check out Kyle if you don't know who Kyle is. Uh, his link's going to be in the description. I'm going to hit new just because he's annoying. Not really. Love you, Kyle. But now you're in my video. But anyhow, go to uh, where you saved your overlay when you're done. That's not where I saved my overlay. Kyle. All right, right here. And then, as you can see, the overlay is right here. So what you want to do is drag it in. That's good, and as you can see, it fills the whole screen because it's 720. Now, for the purpose, we're actually just going to use the overlay as the video. And what you want to do is click the event pan crop. And now, this part's a little difficult. You actually want to drag it out until it fits inside the, the video, the black part, the white part, wherever. Inside the video, kind of like too much still. Uh, a little more I don't know this is the hardest part uh, getting it perfect too much whatever well you get the idea and then what you want to do is just save it right here type in a name and then save it when you're done so you never have to figure out what it was again and that way your videos are always the same but as you can see the videos inside the video you have the overlay and there you go again all the stuff is on the link in the sidebar all the pictures and all that stuff are in there it's a really good website again save it make sure you save it make sure it's saving as a PNG uh, some might save as a JPEG that's fine there shouldn't there still shouldn't be a background on it 
But uh, if there is, try not to use it. Like the stuns, the stuns are really bad. They have like a gray background, and that's why I don't put them on. But hopefully this helped you out. Now you know how to make an overlay for your videos. That way your videos are kind of cool. And you'll get a lot of comments on your videos saying, hey, you copied CNanners. But you know what? Who cares about if you copied CNanners or whatever? Everyone copies someone. But yeah. So hopefully this was helpful and take care.